well after the last weekend at Evolve, which I thought was uh, pretty successful. It's the first time, finally, that I've had back-to-back -back wins. As far as I am concerned, you know I'm the uh, you know the next rightful contender, um, and yeah, for some reason Ethan Page decided to uh, target me. Timothy Thatcher, if you can stop sodassing around the way you're doing at the moment, so as you put me a what the hell? What the hell is Ethan Page doing? What happened was utter. Chaos. That's why Ethan Page. Page has got that chair. He's got the arm. What's your problem, mate? He made this brook in the arm of Zack Sabre Jr. What the hell? I don't underestimate any opponent. You know, a wrestler like Ethan Page is very unpredictable. I think the beauty of the way that I wrestle and the way that I compete is that it's very much on my terms, so... Is it going to be difficult? Very likely. I don't really go into any match thinking, you know, it's going to be uh, a walk in the park. You need to just calm down so you can pay each game and we can do a little pro wrestling, right? That's what you all came to see? You know, the ethos that we're trying to promote in Evolve, a group of like-minded wrestlers that we've got here. He, uh, either he doesn't care for it or he doesn't want to, you know, play along with what we're doing. Best technical wrestler in the world is going to do his best to out-wrestle all the Ethan the page, who has said on many occasions he is not a wrestler, he's an entertainer. And I, for one, am being entertained right now. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Zach has made no bones about his Main focus here in Evolve going forward is to become the Evolve champ. He has been on a roll, and it almost came to a screeching halt at the hands of the gatekeepers and Ethan Page. And right now, he's able to keep Ethan Page away from that arm. You know, it's not broken, but it's uh, it's not 100%. And you know, it's been a month since the last uh, Evolve weekender, and I've obviously had to compete since. Uh, It's got to be a turning point for me now, I think. And Page is now taking this to the street and right back to that injured arm. And now it's Ethan Page looking to continue his assault on the injured arm. Oh! I'll get a really kind of worthwhile victory. I always manage to kind of slip out, you know, an equally as important victory, so. I feel like I'm treading water at the moment. If I underestimated anything, it was as to how the damage to my arm would affect the way that I can compete. I don't think I've ever kind of had something like this going into a match. And again, can't quite lock it in. Got that arm just torqued. And Page frees himself. Unbelievable! Ethan Page with that hammerlock spinning Dwayne just beat Zack Sabre Jr. Just gutted. Um because we're back, almost back to where we started. Two strong victories in Florida at the last pair of Evolve shows. And then uh, I thought, you know, this was a roadblock, but I thought it would be something that I rectified. It's irrelevant, really, what Ethan Page did to me in Florida, because if I'm going to be the champion of this company, then that will just be the beginning because everyone is coming at you and uh, 
no champion can make an excuse of oh my arm was damaged going in this is one of the most difficult sporting professions in the world and uh, you know there'll be a lot of disadvantages coming at me mm, so yeah I'm not I'm not going to move on well, well I can't I can't expect to move on until I prove myself again These two men know each other rather well. You need to be 120% uh, when you're uh, in the ring with uh, June Gulak. Gotta wonder how much the left arm of Zack Sabre Jr. is still ailing him. And there he is going after that injured left arm. I'll give uh, Ethan Page his credit, like mentally. It made me self-reflect I guess on the techniques that I use and and the way that I do things as to how much requires both of my uh, you know both of my hands in full power. Even when I do things without my hands, like I'll I'll wrap something on with my legs and even just to, to push that momentum up. And this is the match where you got two guys who are so technically sound who very rarely make mistakes. You can't pretend to be anything when you, you lose two matches in the same weekend. Especially in a company like Evolve, we pride ourselves on, on actually creating something based around the importance of, of a win and a loss. The whole motivation for me, outside and, and inside of Evolve, is to become Evolve champion. And uh, I'm further away from that than before the Best in the World series. I don't deserve a title match until I can beat Ethan Page. Like, uh, I, I think it's that simple, so that will be my focus and I have to figure out a way. It's not even purely about Ethan Page either because yeah, I, I should be someone who's diverse and versatile, so I should have been able to beat Drew Gulak t uh, tonight as well. Um, yeah, I don't know, I have to, clearly what I'm doing, like my approach, um, Ah, bloody hell. Uh, my approach to pro wrestling uh, clearly doesn't work every time. It's, you know, it's done me good so far, but it's not worked uh, this weekend, so I don't know. Got a couple of months before San Antonio. What's next? Where are you going to be? Uh, no, I'm not going to be here in December. Um, I think, I don't know, maybe it's for the best.